so-called drag bill being pushed through several state legislators right now. If it becomes law, the bill would put some drag performances in the same categories as strip clubs. Our sister station in Little Rock has more on Arkansas Senate Bill 43. This was based on what we've been watching, you know, for the last few years on television. So it happened. And I know that I know they have drag shows here because we've had a number of them scheduled, and they've called them off because of resistance, you know, from the legislature. Nebraska, Arizona, Missouri, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, and Montana are some of the states that are redefining drag performances and where they will be permitted. The bills are similar, changing sexually oriented or adult oriented business to include drag performance and where those performances can be held. Some states are including criminal penalties in the proposals. In Arkansas, Senate Bill 43, if passed, would classify any drag performance intended to appeal to the prurient interest as an adult-oriented business and prohibiting them from public property or where a child could see. The sponsors and other legislators are concerned about protecting children. This is about the kids. It's not right. about the LGBT. When have LGBT. we had instances in Arkansas of kids witnessing prurient acts based on drag? I can't tell you. One instance was very disturbing to a lot of folks was to see that when we had the drag parade here in Little Rock recently and they had the family friendly drag show that they were uh, emergency, con emergency contraceptives were tossed out in the crowd where children were present. THV 11 couldn't confirm that happened. When asked about the nearly identical bills in other states, Representative Mary Bentley said she wrote the bill with the help of the Bureau of Legislative Research. I've had numerous constituents reach out to me that are very weary of what they feel sexual grooming going on with our kids. And our kids are in trouble, our kids in Arkansas are suffering, and we're pushing back against the woke agenda. That's really what it's all about. The word prurient has also been an issue. Some legislators concerned this is targeting the LGBTQ community specifically, and this could open the door for interpretation. If you go out to, to West Little Rock and go to Twin Peaks or you go to a Hooters, there is activity there that is 100% designed to appeal to the prurient interest. And there are kids running around everywhere. But that's not in this bill. I asked co-sponsor Representative Bentley how prurient would be defined. Look in the dictionary. You can look in the dictionary and see excessive. There's a, it's been a legal term around for decades. So... 